In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the keyboard session player to play the strings or pretty much any other virtual instrument. So let's go. Session players were added to Logic Pro for iPad version 2, and I've already covered the bass, the keyboards, and the drums in other videos that you can find in the description. But how have I created this strings track in my project? Well, that's what I'm going to show you now. To start from scratch, I'm first going to delete this by tapping, tapping on delete, and hitting the delete button so we can start from the start. Now what we need to do is tap in the top left here on the plus button, go to session player, make sure the keyboard player is selected, and then tap on that one. It will create a a brand new track and drop us here into the piano keyboard player. Let's just quickly solo this so that we can hear it. And we're going to hit the preview button here to see what it's got for us. Very cool, but it's piano. I've already got a piano track. So let's show you how we can turn this into a strings or any other instrument track here in Logic Pro. Now this version of the project I'm using here starts with a piano and then all the other instruments kick in down here around about bar number six. So that's where I'd like my strings to come in as well. So I'm going to grab this piano and drag it gently across to that same spot. I'm then going to zoom out by grabbing two fingers and spreading them and then just move this up to the end. We can adjust and tweak these as we go, but this will just create a whole new session player region that covers this entire track. And there it goes. I'm using my iPad Pro from 2020 in this demonstration, so things are a little bit slower. You can use session players in non-M series iPads, but they do take a little bit longer to do things like the session players. Now, without this new track, we've added our project sounds like this. So how do we change this keyboard player to another instrument? There's a couple of ways to do it, which I'll show you now. Firstly, let's just solo this track. So we've got just this one selected. The first way, if we go to the edit here, it's already set up as a piano track here. What we can do is tap in the bottom left and go to instrument patches. If you're not already there, you tap here on instrument patches. And now we can add any other instrument we like here. Let's just say we wanted an organ. We can tap in the search there and type in organ and hit enter. And there's two ways to change your instrument. If you don't have the replace selected, we can tap, hold and drag this and drop it right there on the piano. And it's actually gonna change that instrument. If we scroll up a bit over there, there you can see classic rock organ has now been added to the session player. And it's gonna sound a bit like this. So not too bad, yeah, but we need to tweak some other things as well. And in this case, we actually want strings. So let's uh, hit the X button there. Let's go back to our search and type strings here and uh, hit the enter key. So we've got a whole bunch of different string sounds that we can use here. And yes, you can preview them like I did there by tapping and then to bring it across this time let's use the replace method we're going to tap the replace button and this time when we just tap on authentic strings check this out it replaces that immediately and now if we hit the play button But here's the thing, we've got a piano sound, so we don't actually want it to play like that. We want some strings that are gonna be more of a pad sound. How do we do that? Let's show you, we're going to turn off our browser. Now, if we tap right here where it's got the keyboard player freely, we can change how the keyboard player is actually going to play, and we can change it through broken chords, block chords, arpeggiated, or simple pad. And I show all these in detail in the other video you'll find in the description. What we wanna do though is to keep those strings we need to turn the change patch off because otherwise it will change back to a piano or a keyboard. Now we can go to simple pad and here you can see it's changed this up now. It's now got a more of a pad sound. Let's take a listen to what this is gonna sound like. Much better. That's going to complement the rest of our track a lot better. Let's uh, just tap that one, scroll back up here. Let's bring the bass, the piano, and the drums back in and see what these strings are going to sound like with the rest of the instruments. Pretty 
pretty cool, right? And I've actually moved it down so it only comes in here in the second verse, just to add a little bit of variety to this project. But wait, there's more. What if we want to change this to the studio strings that we have here in Logic Pro? Let's go back to our editor here. What we need to do this time is go to the plugin. So if we tap in the middle here, you can see that this is using this ES2 as the instrument, which is a synthesizer creating these synthetic strings. But what we can do is remove this and replace it with the studio strings. To do that, we're going to hit on the edit button here, and then we're going to hit the minus there. And see how we've got no instrument now, if we add an instrument by tapping there, we can now add any instrument we like, external instruments or the studio instruments. And that's what we're going to do here. We're actually going to add the studio strings, add them as a stereo studio strings, tap on our edit button. And there you go. We've now got this. It's set to violins. We want it to be maybe a small section. So we'll just use that drop down there. And now let's take a listen to these strings. Not bad. Let's just close these two down and let's just solo just these strings together and you'll hear the studio strings. They actually sound really, really nice. Take a listen. And now that we've added that Studio Strings plugin, we can come in here to our plugins by tapping at the bottom there, double tap Studio Strings, and we've got complete control over this. What if we want the whole string ensemble to play here? Well, then we can change that up. How do we adjust where this is going to be played, like highs and lows and that sort of thing? Well, that's where we can use the Keyboard Session Player. So we'll come back here to the Keyboard Session Player. We can do things like use the hands, but instead of it playing on a keyboard, it's going to change where the strings are played. Let me show you. If we bring this all the way down, let's bring these two hands down, you'll see immediately that it changes where these strings are going to play. Take a listen. I think that sounds really good. Let's bring that back in with the rest of our tracks. Very cool. And you'll see here that because we've got chords, a chord track in this particular project, it's automatically following all of those chords. There's a heap of other things that we can do with this. We can change, say, the voicing. If we want, say, the root and the octave, this is just going to add more sounds. We've got the full chord there at the moment. What if you only wanted a very basic pad? You can go to like a one voice pad, and then you're going to get something much more simple and subtle like this. You can even change the attack and the release of this. So the notes start, if you want the pad to swirl a little, little, little bit more, you can bring the notes start earlier, or you can even extend the length out a bit. So with a pad, if you want a little bit of that overlapping kind of sound, you can actually adjust it there. You can also change things like here, your right hand, your left hand, or both. And it just gives you so many options. You can even change the intensity here if you want to really simplify it down, or if you want it to really hit hard, you can see the velocity and intensity intensity changes there as you change that slider. And again, you can use this in all sorts of combinations because you've got the power here of using whatever instrument patches you want and then jumping into the plugins and changing any of the plugins that you like. You can even change the studio strings to something else. Let's say we hit this button and we delete the strings. Let's add in, say, our studio horns. Go to studio instruments and grab the horns and go to stereo. And now if we tap that one off, we can double tap this one. We can add some trumpets. We can add a whole R&B or soul or jazz section. What about a jazz section of horns to this? Is this going to sound any good? I mean, a little bit Sergeant Peppers, but you get the gist here. You can change these up using both the plugins for all of your instruments, whether they're internal or external, or you can use your instrument patches over here to change up the instrument you're using. There you have it. The studio keys can be used for strings, for horns, for any instrument you like. Jump in, experiment with it, change it up because you never know what you'll create here in Logic Pro for iPad. If you'd like to learn more about creating, recording and releasing your best music, check out the other videos in the description and I'll see you next time.